yourself to hold a kettlebell, um, or maybe hold one bit heavier dumbbell. So whatever you've got, you can do this at home, you can do it in the gym. So there's lots of ways um, in which you've got no excuse not to exercise. <laughs> right, the next thing we're going to do is a burpee. I bet you're brilliant at these, aren't you? Right. Right, we're going to do a burpee here. Now this is quite a, a, quite a high cardio move. Um, well, the burpee, if you do it without first, so I'm going to show you without the jump. And this makes it a little bit easier. So if you're starting out, just slow it down and do it like Nav's doing it. So you push your feet back, jump up, spring back, that's it, and then stand up. And if you want to make it harder, you want to do this faster and you want to do a big jump, a big explosive jump at the top. So do you want to do a few of those? That's it. That's it. You can put your arms in the air to make it even harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is a brilliant cardio move, and these are quite high intensity moves. So they mean that means for us it's going to burn more fat, but it's also using strength to our muscles. So of course we're helping to speed up our metabolism and burn more fat. Yes, show us that one. So there's a slightly more advanced version, which is even harder, where you do a press up and then you spring up and, and jump as well. So that'll make it work on your chest muscles, your arm muscles, and that's a work up to move that one. Right, now we've got the standard bicep curl. So this can be done in lots of different ways. You can do a straight curl where your arms are forwards like this. You can do a curl that's doing the front head called a hammer curl. And we can do a reverse curl too like this. That's it. And that's again working a slightly different part of the bicep. So you can do all three. You can do ten of these, you can do ten of these, you can do ten of these. And again, you can work this into what we call a hit session, where it's a certain amount of minutes. So that program at the back of the Fit Manual is brilliant. It's got day one, and you've got all those exercises. You can um, fit them into doing it in four minutes. You can do it in eight minutes. There's lots of interval apps on your phone. So you can actually program in those exercises, and, and then it will literally beep when you need to go on to a rest, or beep when you go on to your next exercise. And we are um, intermingling here with a cardio exercise and then a strength exercise, cardio and then a strength. You can put a rest in if you needed to if you're first starting out, and that's important when, you, when you're getting going. Right, now we're going to do a plank. So, uh, to show us, this is working our core muscles, our abdominal muscles. Yeah, so we've got the first, first level, which is um, just a standard plank. And you can see that um, we've got a nice neutral spine here in our stock. And you can hold that, <laughs> you can hold that for... 10 seconds, 20 seconds, build it up. You know, some people when you're first starting out, it's quite a hard move. Um, now you can make it a little bit more harder, a bit more difficult, sorry, and you can make it more cardio. If you are going into um, lifting your hands up, that's it, and then down again, and up again, and down again, that's it. And so you can do that as fast as you want as well. So when you get a bit more advanced, start doing different things like that. Um, another good move, yeah, another good move for the obliques, our side muscles, is if you had like a ball under your stomach, you could um, twist either side of that. So if you move your hips either side, that's it, you're using your oblique muscle, that's a good one, isn't it? Can you feel that now? Yeah? And that works on our waist muscles. So there's lots of variations you can do with the plank. All of these exercises, or a majority of them, are on our YouTube, forever I've got a YouTube channel, with these being demonstrated. So if you forget what they are or you don't know what some of the names are in the booklet, I had to look some of them up because they're called different things, um, have a look on the YouTube channel. Okay, so that was our plank. Um, now we're going to do something called flutters. Can you see what, sorry? Yeah, so <laughs> I had to look. They're called slightly different things. So with a flutter, we're lying on the floor, engage your core muscles, hands under your bum, and then legs out. We're doing this, a bit like a stranded beetle. <laughs> and these are these are what we call flutters. If anybody wants to know that, so I had to look them up. <laughs> and if you do the legs like this, this is what we call scissors. Just so you know, this works our inner thighs. And um, we're very much working our core muscles. But before you start any of these exercises, make sure that you've got a very good engaged core and it's strong and it's holding your back nicely on the floor. Yeah, those are scissors, yeah. So again, they work the nice, nice and work on the inside thighs. Great, okay. Uh, what we're going to do now is show you some forward lunges. And these can be done, like now we're doing um, dumbbells, we can use, again, a plate above your head, or you could use a barbell. So there's lots of ways that you can make this heavier. And by making it heavier, you're making it harder, but you're also working your muscles more. 
And if you go faster, you're making it more cardio, so you're working your heart more too. And the high sort of intensity of these exercises are fantastic for fat burning. So you can do this by counting reps, or again, you can put seconds into your interval time when count in seconds. And if you did these exercises, even if you did four minutes twice a day, you can really start to see some differences. It really helps to aid your fit program. Okay, great. Now we're going to do some jumping jacks. Which I'll tell you, you look like car jumps, don't they, really? Okay, so jumping jacks, yeah, this is, um, again, quite a hard cardio move for some people starting out. So if you, if you found it a little bit hard, you can quite simply do this kind of action where you're not actually jumping and doing a high um, a high impact workout there. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, there we go, so we're making it slightly harder. Again, you can have small weights if you wanted as well, so you could use um, some small weights or ankle weights um, and hand wrist weights. Now we're going to do tricep dips. Now, at home you would normally have a bench or a chair that you could use to do your tricep dips. Um, we can do it on the side of the stage here. Oh yeah, or well you can show us on a ball. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we'll watch your balance. But the whole idea is that you're working the backs of your arms, which I'm sure lots of us like to tone up the backs of our arms, especially the ladies are all nodding in the audience. <laughs> so this is even harder, what Nav's doing here on the ball, because you're having to use your core muscles, and also you're having to use um, your triceps in a, in a much more flexible way. And if you want to make this a lot harder, you lift your legs up, so you put your legs on something, and then it, it takes more weight into your triceps. <laughs> okay, right, bicycle kicks. So that's on the floor. Again, you need to engage your core, because this is working your stomach muscles. Hands under your bum if you want. You can make it, oh, I'll show you the variation in a minute. And we're quite simply cycling with our legs. And then the lower you take them, the harder it is on your ab muscles, so it makes it work harder. The higher you take it, the easier it becomes. So if you take it lower, and if you want to make it even harder, you can have your hands to your head. And again, if you wanted to increase it more, you could actually bring in your waist muscles by twisting as well. And you can really feel that on your side muscles, your obliques. Right, now I'm going to do some squat jumps. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really good move. Yeah. <laughs> you said you wanted to work out today. <laughs> That's it. And again, if you want to make this easy, you could just do a squat. You could... I need to put a mic on you. So now saying when you land that you don't lock your knees, that you keep your knees nice and soft, it's really important. So it's a really good explosive move on your um, quad muscles, you really feel it. And if you want to make it harder, you can put your hands in the air as well. And we're also going to show you a squat and press. So if you grab some dumbbells, so as you squat you press. Do a shoulder press? Yeah. <clears throat> so this is another variation which is not a cardio one. Great for our shoulder muscles too, whilst working our glutes. So a lot of these exercises you're using a lot more than just one muscle group when you're doing it. So it makes it more intense and keeps the time down for you, covering more body parts. Oh, we're just going to do a few more now. So high knees, we're going to show you some high knees. Yep, just quite simply jogging and lifting your knees. Again, it's quite a hard cardio one, but so just do it for less seconds if you can't manage to do very many of them. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to show you some push-ups. Push-ups. We'd like to see the sweat here now if you're doing well. <laughs> so the push-up is working the chest muscles, it's working the arm muscles. Really good on your core, make sure your core is very strong. What Nav is doing is the more advanced version, which is a full, um, full press-up. But you can drop your knees and do a three quarters, which will help you to start out doing it. And if, you, if you're finding that one really difficult too, you could actually do what's called a box press up. When you come right the way forward, yep, so there's no real weight onto your um, shoulders and you're aiding yourself with using your knees more. You prefer those. <laughs> 
Well, we're going to get now to do a diamond press up, which is even harder. So this is a more advanced level. So if you've already done a lot of this, and you think, well, oh, I've already been there, I've done that, um, you want to be doing a diamond press up, where you put your hands into a diamond shape. You need to keep your elbows really in, so your elbows need to be um, coming down, and you're using your tricep muscles. So it's a really good arm. It's very difficult to do. If anyone wants to try out, you're welcome to come up and have a go. And you can see he's keeping a really good spine, he's not dropping his hips. If you drop your hips, you're then um, arching your back and you're putting your back under pressure. That's brilliant, I'll let you stop then. <laughs> Those are quite hard. In fact, we did have a one-handed one. Are you going to show us your one-handed one? This is very advanced. <laughs> Just because he's showing off as a boxer, we'll watch his one-handed press-up. Don't try this one at home. <laughs> brilliant. Thank you. Give him a clap for that. I think that was really good. <laughs> right, then we've got, we've just got two more, and then we'll take some questions and, and give some advice and help out, help out with them, anything people have got to ask. We're going to do the upright rows. Now, if you take those heavier ones, isn't it? <laughs> no. Those ones. Right, now it's going to show you one version. I'm going to show you another version. So if you just show a short upright row, so this is what traditionally a lot of people do for an upright row, which is working these trapezius muscles. But if you're a lady, like me, <laughs> I don't want big trapezius muscles, so I just keep mine in the range between chest and stomach. And this is now starting to work this part of your shoulder, and you can really feel the difference. So upright row to here, making sure you keep shoulders down, chest out. I'm not engaging those trapezius muscles. It is brilliant for getting this, what we call a tie-in in your shoulder, that nice bit of definition there. So just a shorter range of movement, yeah, brilliant. So that's called an upright row. Oh, we've got some, just to show, show one more, ice skaters. Do you have to do those ones? Yeah, okay, just move forward a second then. Just move forward a second then, I'll just do this, because it's a bit, it's a bit, um, you've got a, <laughs> so ice skaters, if anybody just know what they are, it's, it's, a, it's a bit like you're ice skating. So you're flowing, so if anybody's tried these, really good for your waist muscles, Really good for your um, quads, really good for your glutes. I can feel it all along here. And you can go faster, you can jump higher to make that harder. Hey, great, I hope that was helpful. Anybody got any questions? Anybody that wants to know a particular move that's in the book that we haven't covered yet? We are covering different ones throughout the, the course of the day.